Welcome back. Every Wednesday, we feature those making a difference in our community in our Heart of the Basin segment, sponsored by Fashion Floors. Joining me this morning is Valerie Slayer with Pink the Basin. Welcome, Valerie. Thank you for having me. Perfect timing, too. It's kickoff to breast cancer awareness, so very exactly. thankful. Exactly. And can you tell us a little bit about Pink the Basin and the organization's goal? Yes, yeah, so we've been here established in the area since 2012. We partner with six area hospitals, two in Odessa, one in Midland, Big Spring, Andrews, and Pecos. And together we work to ensure that every woman in the Permian Basin has access to life-saving breast cancer diagnostic services, such as mammograms, biopsies, MRIs, and other breast imaging tests. Um, you know, we, we work together all year long trying to fundraise and this year has been a difficult one since, you know, the COVID and, and everything. So a lot of our major fundraisers have been canceled and we still want to make sure that we can still provide those services. So a lot of people from the community are still coming out and helping us to fulfill some of those needs. And so, you know, I want to encourage everyone to go out there, look at our website, look at our Facebook, keep up with it. We definitely still have some fundraisers some events that people can participate in or support. But, you know, the most important thing that we want people to know as well is, you know, it's the preventative measures that really helps to save lives, which is why we're really promoting um, women to get out there, get their mammograms done, um, start early, don't wait. We've had uh, surveys going on throughout Facebook and we we're finding that a lot of people are just not having the funds to help pay for their services or inadequate insurance coverage to do that. So there's really no excuse, you know, for uh, Pink the Basin is here. So we do have those uh, services available and we just want everyone to know, you know, to please come and see us, see those hospitals, ask about it and just look us up online, anywhere that you can, um, website, social media, find out what we're doing, help us to continue these much needed services to the area. And so as you mentioned, October is tomorrow and that starts Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And I know you mentioned some events, but is there maybe one in particular that like comes to mind that you wanna talk about real quick? Um, definitely we have 15th and plus every week we're having an additional one. So. Um, but I think that the main ones that that we had that were so important that were educational was the symposium that just happened. And then we also had one in partnership with the Sewell Family of Companies that is providing a free live stream event. And that's uh, put on um, through their Facebook and their website. They're going to be inviting Margaret Feinberg, who is a breast cancer survivor. And really we want those who are struggling right now who are battling breast cancer and those who are going through that and helping family and friends with it to be a part of that, to benefit from it. As far as um, the fundraisers, they're also doing a press cafe event, the 12th through the 17th, uh, Texas Roadhouse and several others. So, you know, please take a look. There's in-person events, some that are, you know, through purchases like Kendra Scott and Dillard's. So, um, we have a lot, and, and it's continuously changing, so we're super blessed, very lucky that our community is trying to ensure that we can still offer everything that we need to for everyone. And Valerie, before we go, I just want to make sure we share one last message here. So can you just quickly explain just how important it is for people to keep up with exams to make sure that they don't have breast cancer? Yes, so, you know, early detection is key. You know, when, when we put it off, you know, and, and we have a habit to put it off, it's, it's very detrimental to our health because we have that additional growth and things that we are unable to see that these machines can see. They can detect it and to help prevent further surgeries, extensive treatments and, you know, more surgeries that, that are unneeded. So, um, you know, we, we try to stress the importance of continuous mammograms. And, and I know we've had a, an elderly woman ask one time, well, when do I have to stop getting mammograms? Well, they don't ever stop. You have to continue in, in getting those, those services done. Valerie, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome.